week four of trivia. trivia. Um, got video game one this week, but I think I thought I did something new. Mm, geez. Ninja Turtles trivia. Yeah, well, okay. We I'm, 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 it's over. <laughs> you gotta remember, I'm gonna lose. it's not just Marvel and DC out in this world. You know, the most I know about Ninja Turtles is, like, I couldn't name any other characters besides Bebop and Rocksteady. You can't even name the four turtles. Well, I can name that's obvious. I can name them because they're. Well, it's funny on. you say that because this is a name one. <laughs> it's so funny you say that. All right. Um. Well, here one or two. One. Okay. What are all the dim- What are all the dimensions in the video game Spider Man Shattered Dimensions? What all four are they? We had, we already have a Shattered Dimensions question like the other week, and I didn't know no. it. That was what a shadow is. That's the same thing. I don't know either. You know, I don't know. Just take a guess. Dark Just... Dimension. <laughs> is one of them, I don't know. Just take a guess. What is that, what what is the names of them? The, the names. You don't have to be accurate. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. I've never played that game. <laughs> All right. Um, let me give you a hint. I'll tell you two of them. I couldn't even guess. You'll get you'll get the same points. I'll tell you two of them. Oh my gosh! And okay. then you have to guess the other two. All right. I even give you the two artist ones. You get the same points, right? Do you want to do that? Is that fine? I guess. All right. The t- two of them are twenty ninety nine and the noir. What are the other two? That's crazy that those would have been the only two that I would have guessed. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. <laughs> um, Just think. It's pretty... I think these are pretty easy. <clears throat> 2099, Noir. Um, Come on. What if I... I'm going to guess it wrong and then I'm going to get the thing wrong. Just try. Just try. The ultimate universe. I don't know. Oh, okay. And then, um. This is cheating if I'm looking over here. <laughs> I doubt there's anything over there that'll help see, me. Oh, I saw I, Ultimate. I, that's I, don't, I, don't got, uh, I don't got the game over there if that's what you're looking for. Well, I'm looking for at Spider Man stuff. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um. Well, I don't know any other Spider Man. Well, I do, but like. Um. <laughs> is it like the, uh, futuristic. Uh, like Japanese, where, where where that one girl came from, I don't know. Um, I can't think of any more. The ultimate, ultimate. Uh, so you have ultimate twenty ninety nine new war. I didn't even know there's any more. I, I didn't know ultimate was a thing. I was saying ultimate Avengers when I said that. Oh really? Um, unlimited probably not. <laughs> um. It's pretty, yeah. I'm surprised you haven't guessed it. It's like the most easiest one you could guess. No, it's not. <laughs> it is. It very much is. Noir is the easiest one. Um. What? I don't. <laughs> Do you give up? No, because I can't. <laughs> I at least get one point because I got the one right. <laughs> I got one of them, and that should be bad. one out of I gave you two of them? You wanted me to guess four things instead of just a it's an, just one simple, answer. Simple four. It's four. It's very easy. This should be four points at this point. Well, yeah. You but you already gave me two, so it's two free points. Because no. every question I asked was one answer. <laughs> this is a this is a simple four answers. This ain't like... Not for someone who's never played or have, have read half of the spider Yeah, game. but... Like, you've named the two that I would have guessed. <laughs> Um, I don't even think that I don't even know I didn't I don't even know if there's any more Spider-Man universes other than those three. <laughs> I know there's like Neo Tokyo. I don't know. There, there is one that is really obvious. The normal universe. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's the Amazing Universe. That shouldn't count. That, is, that does count. It's the Amazing Universe, Ultimate Universe, twenty ninety nine, and New War. I'm going home. <laughs> I'll be nice. I'll give you a little point. Excuse me? <laughs> I give you I give you a point. One point. <laughs> I give you one point. I guess you told me that if I that no. you'll give me those two as long as I can get I can still get my two points, but you just give me those two answers. That's okay. And I guess Fine. ultimate Fine. and I guess ultimate and I guess the that one. I don't like think it was normal. I'm like, that's it. Yeah, right. so Fine. that's right. That was my Fine. two points. 
There we go. The only reason I'm giving you that because I know you ain't gonna get this next one. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, are you ready? Yeah, I guess. Because <laughs> you, you're about to want to kiss me if you get this answer. That's Excuse how, me. That's how good this can this answer is. What was the name of the potential fifth Ninja Turtle in the canceled movie TMNT: The Next Mutation? I have four four options because I'm nice. Are you ready? I guess. Picasso, Romita, Kirby, Mozart. Kirby. <laughs> I knew that because I remember you and Spillman talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, oh, that's well, four needed. points today for you. There we go. And so that makes me at 10 now. So five. Next week is double points. Yeah. So you better hope I just get one. I'll, I'll video game questions then. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I'm surprised. Yeah. I'm surprised you got that one. Okay. I thought, it'd be I, like thought I wouldn't get it either. But <laughs> I had a hard time getting these questions in there. Yeah. It took you a grand total yeah. of five minutes. <laughs> it, it, five hours because I had that crock pot cooking oh, okay. the whole time. Um, But that. Is this week trivia next week? The final week. I guess if I win, I get to choose another Give thing. Season, season two of Smallville, please. Well, we're already doing that. Well, um, so Gotham season one would be the next life. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, I gotta pick some hard well, That's a lot of shows. I think I think I'll choose a movie. Because I don't want to do like two shows at once. Well, well, no, well, you gotta get both of them right. No, I mean, if I'm at ten points, if I gotta get four. Get, yeah, you also get. have to remember um, half points for any kind of like exception like that. Like if I... Need like a hand or something that's half points, and then it's so yeah. I'd have to get like one and a half or so like half of it's two. two. So yeah, yeah. If you, I can only let you get one right or even, I mean, you gotta hope I don't know it. Anyway, this week on the Comic we got some two pieces of Marvel news. We don't have that much, um, but it's Vision and music th- like surrounded. Anyway, Super Slash Man, the Christopher Reeves. Tr- movie trailer thing. I don't know what's happening. I'm having a stroke. I don't know. What's up with Ezra Miller returns this week? We got some Superman information, the Batman information, and the first impressions of Batman Arkham Shadow. That and much, much more this week on the Comic Book Burrito. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Comic Book Burrito. I am your host, Darian. I'm your other host, Landon. And today, we got a plethora of stuff for you. We got Marvel, we got DC, and we got games. You name it, we got it. Let's talk. Landon, how have you been? You had me worried there. <laughs> I was having a stroke. <laughs> Are you okay? No. <laughs> Um, no, Anyone else I, smell I, burnt toast? <laughs> no, are you smelling like burnt? We mean smell that's burnt. That's a... Oh, yeah, because that's what you smell, <laughs> yes. I was like, what? I was like, what do you mean like? Um, no, I'm doing okay. Dropped a thousand pound cabinet on my toe, so I fractured it. Skill issue. Skill, I don't know, practically is. It was either, it, I kid you not, it was either falling off a, uh, not really a cliff, but like a, a, uh, I don't know what you really call it, like, I guess a dock where trucks back up into, either falling off of that or letting the thing drop and hit my toe. So I didn't really fully really know what to do at the time, but um, that's so, that's a story for another time. Yeah. But. So real quick, just so people know, so they're not like staring at it and confused. What's the with the? Oh yeah, um, I got fr- a friend of mine. Um, she needed to get. Re- she works at a movie theater. She got. She needed to get rid of a bunch of uh popcorn buckets that just did not sell. Mm-hmm. Kind of her boss was like, look, get someone, get some loser to buy these off of <laughs> or get these off of us and. She's like, hey, I got this Aquaman popcorn bucket, and you know these other ones. I was like, do y'all do y'all want to take these? Put it on the podcast. I was like, sure. It's pretty sick. It's nice looking. I didn't know this was a thing. I remember it, but like barely. Mm-hmm. Like I never saw one. I hope that they have some cups for the Batman stuff left. <laughs> Oh, you right. So let's just get two of those, and we'll just <laughs> just sip out of those for the rest of the time. Those cups are pretty cool. I've... I was there when I went. I went watch Deadpool and Wolverine again. I guess that's what I did this week. So that's um, I saw it yesterday. Um, and they had their, you know, they have like these shelves where they have the bucket and they have some cup, like and they have yeah. this like stuff. They had they had the popcorn bucket, the new Batman one, um, and the Batman cup, mm-hmm. which I picked up the cup and looked at. It's cool, like the. Yeah, here's the logo. I like the Batman Forever when it's the question mark with the bat. Yes. Um, and then the bat, the popcorn bucket's about this big. It's pretty big. It's huge. Lights up. It's like something I'd put on a shelf. Like that's, mm. yeah, and it, and it lights up, which is cool. Mm. Like that's like not even a popcorn bucket. Like you can put popcorn in it, but it's more just the bat. Yeah, it's signal. not really. You can't even. Re- 
You can put popcorn, but you ain't gonna put much in it. I wouldn't want to. It, looks like, it comes like a large. It just looks look, cool. It looks cool. Like yeah, it right. could go right over there if we had one. I know, right? Or you know, put up here for the day or something. I think it looks dope. Yeah. Um. I see we got the hiccups. Yeah. Excuse me. We're both. Something's happening. <laughs> no, I'm trying to drown him out uh, with this thing. Um. But no, it was cool. I was glad we had this. Uh, put this. We don't have anything Aquaman in here, so it was nice to have. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I saw Deadpool and Wolverine. That was pretty much the extent of my week. I mean, we just finished Smallville. season one of Smallville. Yeah. Um, so, already started season two, but a season one review, I guess, is coming uh, wait, soon. This Wednesday, I guess. Probably this Wednesday, yeah. yeah. Um, we were going to try to get a special guest on it. I'm not sure if that's going to work. Mm-hmm. We will have to see. And if it does end up happening, it may be on a Zoom call. Yeah, which is... We'll see how that works. We haven't done one of those in a long time. Yeah. Um, but if not, if we can find a way to zoom him into here. Um, not like physically, but... Teleport him. Just, yeah. yeah. Um, have him here. on our screen while we're talking. We'll, we'll try to do that. But, um, yeah. So if it's delayed, that's why. Maybe push mm-hmm. it back a week just to yeah. um, figure out some scheduling. But, yeah. Um, let's get into the news, though. We don't have much for Marvel, like I said, in the intro to things start with this according to stroke <laughs> D- daniel rpk the untitled vision series apparently it is untitled not vision quest whatever it is will have elements of west coast avengers maybe even featuring a few members of the team let's look at who the members of the west coast I know Hawkeye avengers is in it. are uh wonder man is in it and what he is getting a show okay uh, members. That is not everybody. That's the leaders. That's not well. Here, let's... The internet hates me right now. Um... I think Wonder Man's part of it. Members Hawkeye, Tigra, Scarlet yeah. Witch. Interesting. Mockingbird, Wonder Man. Yeah. And, uh, and Iron Man. So Wonder Man and Scarlet Witch. Interesting. Those are the two that I could see showing up in the mm. show. Especially her. I think she might have some sort of role. Yeah, definitely. Well, also yeah. Ultron's in this. Mm. And do you remember? Hey, you remember um, way back when when we heard the rumored plot for Armor Wars and what they were going to change it to? It was going to be like a West Coast Avengers movie. Yeah. And it was them fighting Ultron. Yeah. It seems like this is what it is. They maybe were, I guess Armor Wars ain't really a... Armor Wars, I think Armor Wars is still happening. I think that plot turned into this show. Mm-hmm. And so that's what this is going to be, which is interesting. Um, But yeah. I mean, what do you think? Uh, I mean, I'm I'm interested. Uh, I really want... I mean, do you think... Uh, yeah... I don't know, like, because I know Hawkeye is kind of like the leader of it. Um, but I doubt think... they'll put together a, another Avengers team besides, like, maybe Young Avengers, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, yeah, if there were, out of anyone that would be in it, it'd definitely, definitely Scarlet Witch and uh, Wonder Man. And they're in a relationship on that team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm excited. Um, I like to see. When, when, do we have an idea of when it's supposed to this come out? It comes out in 2026. All right. Well, we'll we'll see. I'm interested. Uh, we'll have to see what they do with Wanda and Agatha. See if that brings her back or what they set up for her. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think Agatha's going to do a lot. Probably set up with it somehow. Yeah, because it's, it's, Agatha's like the second part of this trilogy. So yeah. It'll set up the show in some way. Um, but yeah, there's that. Finally... They had the Infinity Saga live orchestra in the Hollywood Bowl in California. Um, they performed music from a bunch of Marvel movies, um, showed the clips and stuff, and played some new stuff. They played uh, music from... They played Sam Wilson's Captain America theme. They played the Fantastic Four theme song, mm-hmm. and uh, I don't know what else other than that and like other stuff. Kevin Feige apparently came out on stage and confirmed that... I apparently didn't write it all, but confirmed... That the Infinity Saga Orchestra is going to do a world tour, um, coming I guess everywhere. Uh, mm-hmm. Hopefully, maybe around the United States a little bit more. We might be able to take yeah, a trip. Where was this at? This though? was in California. So, so yeah, maybe more on the East Coast. Yeah, and go down there. Maybe. Probably Florida. I would assume they'd probably just I, go there. I know there's a state. I know there's one in. 
I'm trying to remember where, where the Final Fantasy VII orchestra was Because I would not mind just traveling to go. Yeah, Florida, that's, that's about maybe a 10-hour drive. And if it's only like a weekend, we can leave like a Friday or something. Yeah, and I wouldn't mind just traveling and go see it. Kim Feige's going to be there. We're going to see some compo- like famous composer. composer yeah. It'll be good to hear this music live, uh, especially the Fantastic Four thing. Yeah. I think that's going to be like the best one. Um, but yeah, no, if it, uh, if it goes there, maybe we'll, if we do get tickets, we'll go, uh, blog it, you know, blog the trip and, you know, are we allowed to record during the orchestra or no? Um, some people haven't posted it. All right. That's so, I, I mean, I don't want to record the whole thing to seem rude cause I've never been to one of these, but, um, you know, maybe we'll film a couple of things, us walking. Yeah. Well, I think you can film it cause it's just music. All right. Um, so is that, uh, and that is the end of the Marvel news. And let's wait. <laughs> we'll wait till after DC. like commercial time. We'll wait till after I've DC. never been in this situation before. <laughs> um, two Marvel news. Because we are only 15 minutes in and I don't want a commercial already. All right. Um, I have another stroke and maybe we'll have next DC year. news. The Super Slash Man, the Christopher Reeve story trailer, came out. This movie is releasing only for two days in theaters, September 21st and... 25th. 25th. Now, it... Anywhere on like a digital release or something? No, or? Not yet. Okay, so this is the only. And it is a worldwide thing. There is one, two showings that are near us, which we have. I feel like we have to hit. No. It has to be that first one because it's a Saturday. It's a Saturday. The twenty fifth one's on like a, a weekday. It's like a Wednesday, and I mean, is the, are the times the same? I haven't looked. Um, I guess we can look right now. Because, because well. I mean, I, well, I definitely want to do the, see this movie first. I definitely want to get a review out there because, I mean, obviously, I don't know. I'm, I just want to say it already. Probably ten out of ten. <laughs> um, if I cry, huh? yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely going to cry. Um, um what now, was it? super super slash man. slash man. There it is. Advanced tickets. How long is it? It says like two hours and what? How did it say? I said it on there. Um, let's look. It is going to be hour forty seven. Oh, hour forty seven. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's see. For our showings. The twenty first is at four and seven, and then twenty fifth, four and seven. seven. Okay. Um, I, I mean, I definitely want to go it needs to be that side, see right? on the 21st, just to get it out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Luckily, no one's seen, I know a couple people have seen the seven o'clock, like pretty much the best seats. Um, yeah. um, I think, am I wrong on this? Doesn't like all money, uh, go to, I like, think it goes to their foundation. foundation. Yeah, this is like thought. an exclusive screen. So, you know, you know, definitely if you want to go support that, I'd recommend go see it. Hey, you know, you get a movie, <laughs> you know, and a pretty, um, you know, excuse me, damn good looking movie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, um, I'm very, very excited to see this trailer looked great. Um, I don't know if you want to rate it, but five out of five. Well, I'll, yeah, five uh, out of five. It's early ratings. I haven't even given my thoughts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I I would say, I, I would say that this is probably going to move some people. Oh yeah. Um. I like I like what you used there. I like what you did there. What? Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like inspirational, you know. Well, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. At the end, it's like yeah, you know, yeah, people are moving because of Christopher, Reed, you know, and, and I think I don't know. I don't know that's not. I was I, 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 I thought it sounded nice. I'm it wasn't like, oh, intentional. But anyway, um, I was just saying it's gonna make people sad. It's gonna yeah. It's definitely gonna make um, me cry. I'm about to you know. <laughs> Hold on to you. I, mean, I, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, um, I'm a bomb. I'm bring some that. tissues. Bring some tissues. Um, bring some yeah, chocolate. but it looks really good. Going over his whole story, um, it's not much to really review. Um, I told it was a really good trailer. Um, DC Studios producing it. Uh, sorry, that'll be the first time we see the little intro in the front of the movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, what a good one to start out with, too. Mm-hmm. Don't ask the people on Twitter that. <laughs> <sighs> the, oh, the, the, the Snyder fans will tell you that they're just parading around Chris Reeves' dead body. Skeleton, or like how Deadpool did. Yeah. And I'm like, no, this is like the best thing that could ever happen. Um, There's that. Yeah. Uh, five out of five, I would give it. There you go. Go check out the trailer for Super Slash Man, the Chris Reeves story. Um, looks great. Mm-hmm. Um, Okay. Moving on to... 
some information. James Gunn posted on many different social medias. Um... He posted... Let me find it. There it is. He said, Happy anniversary to Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen, who debuted on this day, 1941. This was on the 25th. Um, although he did appear earlier as Office Boy in Action Comics 6. Created by Jerry Siegel, Joe Schuster, and Bob Maxwell. I can't wait for you to see Skylar Gisondo's portrayal in Superman on July 11th, 2025. With our first official at Jimmy Olsen. Um, give him a thumbs that's up. My, that's my boy. <laughs> Um, there was another picture, but it's not, um... It's already better than... Yeah. This. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Let me see if I can find the other one. Did he post? See, there was another one that was posted. Let me look. Jimmy Olsen. Superman's best pal. I think it was just posted not long ago. Um, latest. No. Um, that's a... Somehow I'm not gonna look at that. Let's see here. Cause there were two pictures he posted. I'm just go over to media. That's what Olsen wrong? No. I mean there's this one. I guess this might be it. There's that one. And there's that one. So <laughs> that. Way to go, yeah, Clark. Yeah, <laughs> Superman. <laughs> I love it. Um <laughs> yeah. way to go, Clark. Um, but yeah, we got our first official looks at Jimmy Olsen mm. and his design. He's got a little not, bit of a, not bad. I, bit of a sweater. I'm a little, you know, I'm not saying it looks bad, but I like Jimmy Olsen with the bow tie. I, it, I know it's very old school, but I, I like it with him. He's got the little sweater. Or this is bad. He has a sweater and you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah. So there you go. Jimmy Olsen. Okay. Next up, we got... The Penguin, the show dropping uh, on the 19th. Uh, you got the first four episode titles and run times. I'm going to pull that up and read it. After I can find it, because I can't find it. Great. Um, I know the first one was like an hour and 20 minutes. Here, I have to go back to Twitter. I don't think I screenshot it. We make fun of Twitter, yet we rely on it. Well, there's people on there that I get information from. It was Cryptic HD Quality. That's what Cryptic wrong? Cryptic HD Quality. Um, that's Rings of Power. I guess could I like search? No, probably not. I'm just to scroll down because he posted not that long ago. Um, Pete, by the way. <laughs> that's Sonic 3 trailer. Well, too bad we're not talking about that. Anyway. <sighs> Um. So the Penguin first four episodes. Episode one is titled After Hours. It's gonna be an hour and seven minutes long. Episode two is Inside Man, fifty six minutes. Episode three is Bliss, fifty nine minutes. And episode four is Sintani at fifty eight minutes. Just these four um, run times he has right now. But we'll get the other four, I guess. So this is like a, I wonder it took so long filming because it's like a. It's like multiple movies. <laughs> yeah. These are hour-long episodes. Yeah, hour-long episodes. I didn't think they would be that long. I thought it would be like 30 minutes. Nope. Hour-long. 45. Uh, eight more hours of the, the Reeves-verse. Uh, peak. I'm excited. Um, comes out... Do we know if it's 10 days every episode? Yeah. Or... Okay. It's just the first one. Um, but yeah, there you go. Penguin. All right. Next, we're going to go with a new segment of What's Up with Ezra Miller. Uh, we haven't done this in a long time, but this is something in the news, so I thought might, I'd talk about it. Might be the last one. Yeah, probably. Maybe. Hopefully. Um, Chase Iron Eyes, as you remember, um, the dad of this Native American girl was suing Ezra Miller and taking him to court because he said that Miller groomed his daughter. Yes. Um, and it was this whole thing. But and the daughter was like, no, I did this on my own will and all this stuff. And so, uh, the court case um, has was dropped three years ago after it was found to be based on no evidence, merely lies fabricated by Miller's longtime stalker. Um, he has apologized to Ezra Miller for falsely claiming um, about the grooming. He said, there's a reason to support um, Ezra Miller 
a hundred in the hand. There's like I think I guess it's a company or something. I don't know. I don't feel like I owe an explanation after we hosted a party in Santa Fe. We received some feedback. When you live your life under a public tribal and non-tribal microscope of critique, sometimes it seems only the critique that makes its way through. I want to offer this on the drama three years ago when I filed a petition and claimed that Ezra appeared to have groomed Takata. I made that statement in my pleading in a time of absolute war based on information from a witness who then recanted and said nothing happened that they could infer anything inappropriate from. Thus, I immediately withdrew the court filings. Now we're doing our level best to move on to reconcile to heal while we're remaining supportive as a father. As long as Tokata's good, we're good. These are real people living real lives. And once that you're in that fire, there's no anonymity. There's no safe space for you to retreat. There's a strange place. That's a strange place, and it's not enviable. It takes a lot to enter the fray again. And that was his um, tweet. That, uh, apparently, a lot of the stuff we're finding out is that um, most of, a lot of these witnesses had lied about stuff. I wonder why. I guess. Do you think there's so, there's something that did happen, and then everyone's like, right, "Stuff did happen." I'm gonna get in on. He this. did some stuff, but some some other things he didn't, which would yeah, yeah. Bigger. um, yeah. Shame on those people for like just yeah. going dogpiling on Ezra. Um, yeah, uh, no, I'm glad. Um, cause I know didn't Ezra go to uh, like a like some mental health places yeah. and stuff? So that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad that's happening. Um, yeah, shame on these people for. Dogging on it. Um, I think what the stuff Ezra did do is absolutely terrible. I don't think that was, you know, no good reason for that. But uh, glad, glad, I'm glad he apologized as well. I think that's mm. that's good. Um, I don't know. Let, let's hope that we don't have another segment of what's up with Ezra Miller and Ezra's living a good life. And there you go. Yeah, into that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next up here. Um, some Batman information on September 20th, Batman's 85th anniversary, Batman 89, Batman Mask of the Phantasm, and Batman Forever are coming back to theaters, mm -hmm. um, for a little, I guess, a, a day or something, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I think it's just that day. Yeah, um, they are coming back to theaters. I don't know the last time these movies were in theaters. Um, yeah, I don't know about Batman Forever. I feel like Mask of the Phantasm... Came on a little while ago. I, I was like for the twentieth and thirtieth anniversary of the movie. Um, no, these these are good. We're kind of planning on seeing it. We haven't fully. Well, it also comes out the day before Superman. It's the eighteenth is Agatha. Two episodes of that. Yeah. The nineteenth is Penguin. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully, I think one episode. I don't know. Yeah, one episode yeah, of that. One episode. The twentieth is the yes. Batman movies. And twenty first uh, is the Superman. Superman. <laughs> Well, That's... um, we'll see. We'll see. We, um, I know you definitely want to see Batman Forever. Yeah, right I do. I, I want to see Mask of the Phantasm. Maybe eighty nine if they do the film reel. But I'm assuming it's just the digital. Yeah, probably. Thing. Um, but <sighs> things. I remember. I remember hearing a rumor that they're going to do the Schumacher cut, and they're going to finally release it. But there's no word on that, mm. nor is I don't think that's even a thing. Um. But no, I don't know. We'll we'll maybe see it. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> Might talk about it, our experience with it, but we'll see. But uh, you know, if you're interested in seeing these movies, I say go go check it out. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit just mm -hmm. so I can add this. The Batman is confirmed to not be appearing in the Penguin show. He's not gonna be in it. They said that while most Batman things are viewed from the rooftops, you have Batman looking down on everybody. This is really street level. This is. Not dealing with that, and more dealing with just the people down at the bottom. Um, I mean, Bruce Wayne ain't. Gonna... I'm in denial. <laughs> I'm in well, denial. I mean, Bruce Wayne could be. He's not on the rooftops. I mean, yeah. he is, but he's not. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Batman's not Bruce Wayne. Anyway. Oh, yeah. My bad. Um, but yeah, Batman will not appear in The Penguin. Which is unfortunate, but... Mm. Oh, well. Uh, okay, James Gunn has debunked an, a rumor, and... But also subsequently also did not debunk another rumor, um, which is interesting. Let me find this. The rumors were Tub Thumping by Chumbawamba was played on set of Superman. It could be used in the soundtrack. And the other one is Kendra slash Hawk Girl renounces the Lord Tech label by the end of the movie. James Gunn tweeted and said that is not true about the music thing. Sure. He said he did not play that on set, um, but he didn't. Say anything about Hawk Girl renouncing the Lord Tech logo by the end of the movie? Yeah, which adds more fuel to that fire. Which is obvious that they'll do that. Get rid of the 
logo by the end of it. But I thought that was something interesting to mention there. And finally, for DC, um, we have big screen leaks. Let's see, um, they didn't ask me anything, and someone asked, have you heard anything regarding the Superman movie's quality? Like, how good is it going to be? So I spoke to someone who's seen dailies, and um, to say they were impressed was an understatement. Uh, what are dailies, for in case people don't know? Dailies are... This is myself. That doesn't know exactly what dailies are. Um, that is not what I was looking for. Soap? <laughs> yeah. Um, dailies are the raw, unedited footage shot during the making of a film. What? Explain it in Landon terms. The unedited... Movie raw footage. <laughs> the unedited footage shot during the making of a film. So it's like kind of just... Kind just of just... what they recorded on the camera. Oh, okay. Okay. And if it's that good before they edit it. Um, <laughs> surely it's great. <laughs> We'll see. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm uh, Bro, um, man, I don't want to like, keep like just glazing this movie constantly, but like you know, it's just hard to hard not to when you get the track record James Gunn has, you get the casting he has, and I mean, I don't know. I'm. I'm excited. I want to. I'm at, I want to I want to see more from it, but I know things are keeping hidden. And take your time. I guess I'm just too used to the Marvel thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we get stuff super quickly, but you know, I want to see I want to see a little teaser. I want to hear the theme. You know, give us the theme. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that would be the end of the DC news, and it's time for a commercial. There we go. All right, enjoy. Not so fast, Electro. Because Spider-Man's back, and you'll need more than the city's power supply to take on Spidey's ice and taser webbing, stellar new fighting combos, and 19 killer Spidey suits, all with different powers. Hey, Electro! Who's got the power now? Spider-Man 2, enter Electro. They're ready to fight. Are you? Rated E for everyone. And we're back. Okay, gaming news. Batman Arkham Shadow. I was uh, asked in the um, comments. Watch these impressions. <laughs> if we can look at if we if, what our thoughts were and if we saw the new first impressions for um, Batman Arkham Shadow. Um, I watched one or two, and um, I'm going to talk about. One of them in particular, we'll talk about what Caboose's video was, and just all the stuff that we're hearing about the game mm. now. So what? Um, well, yeah, what well, we heard Caboose say, um, what, what Caboose was talking about, his his impressions, and I looked through, um, you know, and I, I did look through a couple other people's. Um, everyone is in pretty much in agreement of, if you have a MetaQuest 3, get it. Yeah. Um, it, it, it looks very impressive. We we think we have found a way. Yeah, we hope, to, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully it works out fine. Because um, we, we will try to play it and review it. Um, me and you still need to figure out like how we're going to do that. I don't know if you want it first for the first, and then I go. Well, it'll, it'll take like a day each for us to beat it. I think. Oh, you think it'll take a day? Maybe. I don't know how long the game is, but I assume it's like eight hours. Yeah, we need it like a weekend or something. Yeah. Um... um Sorry, I was going with this, but yeah, no, everyone's impressions seem to be like, yeah, this game's really good. Um, they talk about the. I'm trying to think of any really negatives. They said they said like really. The only bad part is maybe sometimes during the stealth things that um, when you get caught, you go move to gargoyle or gargoyle real quick. Yeah, that um, you, know, you can get a little disoriented, but I mean, that's common in VR. But I didn't really hear any complaints from anyone. Mm, they didn't get to experience much story. It was more story, just gameplay. Just gameplay. The story could be bad. We don't know. But... And um, everything gameplay wise you're seeing is from provided footage rather yeah. than their own. Own. Um, we'll we'll see. I don't know. Everyone's saying it feels good to play. It's fun. Uh, I don't. Know. I really. I don't really have much to say on it uh, exactly. But uh, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I know you are. You're definitely excited. You kind of got me more hyped up for it. Well, for I will it. be uh, playing. Yeah, I got to be the first one to play it. No, I, I know. Well, <laughs> I, I'll let you be the first one to play it because I, 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 I kind of want more time on mine because I like to 
You could watch if you wanted to. Uh, no, I won't. I won't keep surprised. I feel like okay. Well, I was saying like if we have one person watching, like we hang out for a weekend or whatever. One of us play it. Other person's watching, taking notes of the story or whatever. Mm. Experiencing the story. Cause you experience more of the story. I feel like if you're just watching it, more than you are like playing it. Cause you're playing it. I'm like looking around. Oh man. <laughs> like well, here, so do, cool. you, do you want to play on your own and then I play it here and you can watch me? Um, because I like, how many more are you gonna see what I'm seeing on screen? That's true. I don't. Well, I don't know. I don't know how it works. Unless I can Bluetooth it or not Bluetooth. I don't know. I don't know how MetaQuest Three works. Let us know. You'll figure something. it out. I um. um I have no idea. Yeah, you because know, I get what you're saying, but like I don't want to watch you play a story because then by the time I'm playing, I'm like, okay, I guess I'm in it for gameplay now. Because I don't that's really, true. That's cause true. Because I, I want to be surprised and stuff. Like, oh, there's there's a scarecrow scene right here. Well, I know what's about to happen. That's true. Yeah. You know, and so I, I don't, don't want to spoil that for me. Um. I, I I am very excited. We uh we don't have a date. It's just October, so a month now since we're in September now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't. Know. I'm I'm excited. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the game. The it all looks pretty good. Um, interested to see. Uh, how it pl- how it plays. Yeah. Particularly. Um, the final piece of gaming news is some Rocksteady news. Oh yeah, I forgot we got a. <laughs> um, Suicide Squad: Killer Justice League, um, Season Two, Episode Four is out. Um, I didn't. I think I forgot to talk about that. Um, because yeah, it happened this week, right? It happened this Wednesday. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. So yeah, I didn't write in the news because I, I um I thought it was last week for some reason. Um, but it is out. Um, we haven't played it yet. Um, we're just trying to find the right time to sit down and stream it. Um, we're supposed to do it today, but storms have occurred. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we'll 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 get to it hopefully soon. L- luckily, it is Labor Day weekend. I oh yes, it is that Labor Day. So um, you know, I hope everyone you know got to meet with family and yeah. You know, had a good time. Um, but uh, I guess we might stream it on Labor Day, or I don't know, I might do it tonight. I don't know, we'll, we'll find time to do it. Yeah. Um, but that is not the Rocksteady news I'm talking about. Oh. Um, oh, I know. All right. A Rocksteady developer's LinkedIn profile shows they've been working on an unannounced project since June of 2024. This confirms that Rocksteady has started a new project. So that's good. I think, um, I think this means more than. More than meets the eye. <laughs> um, one, this means that WB is not closing down Rocksteady mm-hmm. Studios, which I, I don't know why they would. You know, you have one flop, you're going to close down a studio. What? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you don't shut out a movie division if one bad film. Yeah. Um, um, any any idea what you think this could be for one? No. I don't know. I would, uh, I would assume maybe something in an original game, but I don't know. I know. I. I know there was talk of something about like a game taking place in the Batman universe. I don't know if that came out that, as false um, or not. James Gunn said that is not true. That is not true. Okay. No, he said sadly there is no truth to this whatsoever. Um, you know what I'm hoping for. I think everybody's hoping Superman game. A Superman game. Um, I hope I hope that comes through uh, fruition. Unless um, in uh, Montreal is working on it. Mm-hmm. I know that was a rumor at one point too. We will see here. Um, unless Rocksteady wants to do something brand new and yeah. just doing their own thing, which I'm fine with as well. Um, I don't know. Get, uh, hope good luck to them. I'm glad they're not being shut down or anything like that. I'm glad they're continuing doing what they love. Of, um, what do you think about suicide? Now, in the point of Suicide Squad, uh, Thoughts on? Do you think that content would be slowed down because more people are working on this kind of starting ramping up this new project, or do you? No, think I think they have already have a group that's working on. They have a group that's finishing it up. There's oh. like twelve people working on Suicide Squad right now. I got now. you. I got you. Um. Ooh, this thought occurred to me as well. Well, I th- I thought of this. So we um, speaking of Suicide Squad, we got the announce the announcement of this very quickly in a span. When did here? We were we streamed Suicide Squad like that night. Let's look. Hang on. A little bit of research here. Let me go to live. Um, a month ago. This is, yeah, this is episode one. This is the motion. Um, what day though? July twenty fifth, twenty twenty four. 
Okay, July 25th, and then what was the past uh, Wednesday? This past Wednesday was the... Let me see here. Sorry, I'm looking around right now. This past Wednesday was the 28th. So it was just a little over two months. And from season two starting until... Well, didn't the update come out on the t- Tuesday, though? Or was no, it we streamed Wednesday? it this night. No, no, I'm saying no, the update. For... The update came out on Wednesday. Came out on Wednesday, okay. Um, but, so that's, uh, let's see. That's basically a m- two months, eight weeks. Um, that is shorter than, I feel like, it's only an extra two weeks because it's been delayed. The six week cadence or whatever seems to be every. It's it seems to be an eight week now. So yeah. they've added two weeks because it's been everything's been pushed back two weeks. Yeah. Which I guess you can look at as a positive thing of like, oh, you know, get more time to iron yeah. out bugs. Or um, something. which makes me wonder when season three is going to come out. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's got to be this year. I'm assuming beginning of November. August, or maybe end of October and get yeah. Halloween because yeah. it is a Halloween like theme. And it's the Arkham one, right? Yeah. So it'd be perfect, perfect time for that. So yeah, I guess October is when we'll kind of hit back up on Suicide Squad. We'll and it also it might maybe they'll do a, I doubt it, but I mean, skins to um do a cross promotion with Arkham Shadow mm. or something because it's happening yeah. around the same time. Yeah. Oh maybe, but um yeah, there is sure. that. Um, I have another piece of news here. Sorry, right, make sure I get these dates. Okay. So, um, because I found, I forgot about the Nintendo Direct this week. Yeah. I, I, I kept thinking we said that last week as well. Uh, we have finally have a date for the Marvel vs. Capcom fighting game collection. Uh, comes out September 12th digitally, which is a Thursday. Th- Thursday of next week. So, I guess, yeah, this Thursday as you are watching this. So, I recommend y'all pick that up so they don't take it away from you <laughs> again. Uh, this game obviously this comes with, uh, you know, Marvel vs. Capcom, Marvel Capcom 2, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel Super Heroes, The Punisher, and X-Men vs. Street Fighter. I think that's everything. And But if you want a physical version like me, uh, it comes out November 22nd of this year. So I don't know. Um, September, October. Wait, 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 September, October. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, two months. I don't know what's taking so long with that, but uh, who cares? I'm glad Marvel vs. Capcom is coming back. Yeah. And, uh, you know, vote with your wallet. If you want an MVC4, I know I definitely do, and I would love to stream that, stream the story mode with that. Um, but yeah, no, I'd say pick pick that game up. I think it's $40, $40, $35. So I, I know I will be picking up along with, um, no, sorry, excuse me. It would be next week by the time you're seeing this, so excuse me. But uh, yeah, that's that's the news right that's there. That's that? That's for yeah. Very good. I don't know if I'm going to pick it up or not, only because... Um... I'm just, I've never, I mean, like, I like those games, but it's not something I like play all the time. No, no, it's fine. No, I mean, well, I'm, if you're not into fighting games, it's fine, you know, but I, I know I'm gonna buy it, because that way I'd like to have a copy. Like, of I it. play, like, fighting games, but only fighting games I play is, like, the NetherRealm stuff, because yeah. I, like, want to see their, what they're doing. Well, good news with this, if you don't pick it now, let's say they get rid of it, there are physical copies out there. Yeah. And that, that's, I think that's what I want to look at mostly here, of, that's good, they brought up physical copies, and, um... I think that's what companies should be doing, especially if something's going to be licensed out for, you know, Lord knows if they want to even renew it. I think that's a good idea to do. So uh, I'm very, very excited. And, uh, yeah, you know, why not Punisher? If you don't like fighting games, you have an awesome uh, side scroller beat them up. Yeah. Um, and I guess with that, will be the end of the news for the week. Yep. All right, short episode this week. Yeah, very short. Um, but we are going to go ahead and get ready to get out of here. So thank you all so much for joining us for this episode. Um, talked about not much stuff, but <laughs> some things of importance. Yep. Um, let's see anything. Let's. I mean, Smallville season one review. Um, coming soon. I'll have to. I got to talk with um, our guest to yeah. see if um, he can. What if if he can just join, or if we need to wait for a little bit, mm-hmm. um, or what's going on? So we'll let you know with that. Um, anything else? I don't. Um, oh. I know. I... No, I ain't gonna say nothing yet. I, I'm, yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> you, know, you know exactly what I'm about. Um, to say. Shut up. Okay, but 
If you have any questions, comments, corrections, or concerns, you can contact me on Instagram at DarienH4404. That's D-A-R-I-E-N-H-4404. Insta- or Instagram at the Copper Burrito un- underscore official. Yeah. Uh, I'm having another stroke. Um, Facebook at the Copper Burrito. Call on official page or Twitter at the CB Burrito. Uh, yeah, and contact me at Spider underscore Landon on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Very interactive on all platforms. Um, yeah, contact me and we'll, um, I don't know, we'll... Uh, we'll talk about, we'll buy, we'll all talk about MVC. I'm not having a stroke myself. Lord. And before we go, I want to let you know to keep an eye on our social medias. Um, there is something that will be dropping the day you are seeing this. Hopefully it's Monday. If it's not, if this is, comes out on a Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday, I don't know. Um, it'll be this week. Yeah. But if it's on Monday, it'll well, probably be tomorrow. There is a bit of a teaser. For I posted a uh, picture, mm-hmm. um, so of some script of, of, of scripts script. that we're doing, um, or of they're done, and um, that's I covered the title, I and um, and my phone number, but um, yeah, I was about to say, I was... <laughs> we covered the title. You guys don't know what it is, but you do, but if you look on there, you can start to piece some things together. We'll have another teaser dropping um, soon. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe Monday. I don't know. Yeah. Um, when do you think we'll reveal the whole project? Uh, with a teaser trailer. Oh, with a teaser trailer. All right. Um, but you'll start to get a bit of an idea of what's going on um, in the coming weeks. So yeah, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get out of here, and we will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. See you. Excelsior! Excelsior! <laughs>